All right, today we are going to paint the boy who lived. Oh. And the first rule of painting that all of you should learn, and I have to learn it too, is that you need an apron. An apron, paint clothes, something. Actually, I am painting in a shirt that's an Atari Freak from, I don't know, 1980 something. Yes, so a lot of, I have clothes that are older than most of my viewers. Uh -huh. Today we're gonna do a fun thing called The Boy Who Lived. Now, for all of those Potter fans out there, you know that The Boy Who Lived would be Harry. Now, I've goofed with the idea. This is our Harry that I like. Now, the I'm trying different scripts because my writing, as you can see, is, is okay. It's not fabulous. And I did Hedwig a couple of times. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with the boy who lived. <laughs> and I bought, again, see, I love these things. I found a Reeves acrylic from Tuesday morning. And I, was, I only paid $3.99 for 12 colors. How can you not love that? I So I'm, that's what I'm going to use, this Reeves 12-pack which is going to be pretty stinking easy. The first thing we're going to do is, if you have, as Cinnamon Clooney likes to put it, if you have any wishes, please write them on your canvas. I've already done that. Um, I'm wishing for a friend of mine, Faith Alfonso's health. She's got some things going on, so we're hoping for that. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing my yellow ochre and I'm going to kind of go like that in a big old honking circle. I know, right? And if you're sitting there looking at it going, well, I've never seen anybody paint like that. Well, surprise, there you go. Um, that's how we're going to start covering our canvas. Now I'm going to take some white onto my big old honking brush. This is a big old brush. See it? big brush. And I'm just going to kind of use that white to get all of that lovely, lovely, lovely ochre, maybe a little water on my breath, to mix it in there and we're just covering it. This is our first round because my idea is that we're going to make it sparkle, not with um, actual glitter, but we're going to use different tones to make sparkles. Okay, yes, my husband is showing me that he made me a coffee cozy, which would be more impressive if he had put coffee in the coffee cozy, so I could try it out. <laughs> Actually, here, I've got some. You wanna try it out? Here, here you go. And, so I'm just painting, 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 using <laughs> probably about half the tube here. And when we paint such a big surface, yeah, you can go over it several times and I think I just want, thank you, where's my lid? Ooh, that's it. This is my coffee cozy. I hope you can see that. That's awesome. My husband made that for me. Because you know how Starbucks, you go there and you get these paper ones? That really isn't, it's nice, but it's not good for the environment. I mean, if you recycle, then it is kind of, but never mind. I'm doing good with it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so that's just me. Keep going, keep going. I'm going to get more white now. Okay, I'm going to use more white down here. I'm going to kind of start edging it out, I think. Because you got to remember, Harry's going to be right about here. He's going to be uh, what's called three quarters. And you got to watch that. I was just throwing paint around because I'm painting off to the side, which I do because I don't want to sit here. I don't want you to see my pretty face. <laughs> I do not have to be. I do not. I'm not comfortable being in the shop. I'm more comfortable just doing the work. And 
honestly, that's all I want to do. I want to be the person who does the work. Doesn't have to be, I don't have to be famous, don't have to be knowledge, or at least not enough, not beyond, oh, that's her work. Okay, I got some of that going on, let's make sure. Got it all covered, yeah, pretty much, okay. Got it all covered. Now, if you're wondering, I'm using a Bofang um, acrylic paper. Now, if you're not careful, it will roll up on you. And so, just be kind of careful with that. I, actually, I don't usually... Oh, got to watch that. I was touching the canvas. Don't touch my cozy after I touch the canvas. Um, actually, i got to put this down. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring up a little more white up here. Um, just fade it in. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to put in some sparkles. Now we've got all this going on. We're going to put the sparkles in first. Because Harry goes over on top of all that. So what I'm going to grab out of this set, let me look at my colors. I love my colors. I'm going to grab some burnt sienna, and I think I'm going to go in the middle of, oh, are you actually working or are you not working? Hmm, now that is an interesting aspect. I think, I don't know if it's, hold on, let me see. If it had a plug or if it actually is. Okay, we've got an issue with the uh, burnt sienna of this grouping. See, it is dry, 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 dry. So, if you ever have that issue, most generally you're going to have to throw that paint out. Now, I only showed you that because that's what it looks like when you, you get basically a bum paint. But, because it has a little moisture to it, I can add more and more water to it. Actually, let me grab that sponge there. I'm going to grab a sponge. And I'm going to spongy. There we go. I think I'm going to wet my sponge a little. Just a little. We don't want this all like... I'm just going to dab it. There we go, because that's, we're going to mix it in here. There we go. Now, let's talk about sparkles. Sparkles are pretty darn easy. They're pretty stinking easy. I like them. What we're going to do is, we're going to take our a little, we're going to take a uh, a round brush. Let's make sure that I got everything out that I want. Okay, and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put a dot, 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 dot. Then I'm gonna take my finger and go squish, 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 squish. Try to keep it round. Try to keep it round. Because when you squish it in, what happens is it mixes with the paint underneath. And so we can actually put another dot of white in there that we don't mix in quite as much. And it, and it glows. It looks glowy. Dot. Dot. Let's do a bunch more here. Here we go. Want some sparkle. Need some sparkle today. Actually, I'm gonna cut out the middle here. <laughs> okay. Because our lettering, I, I'm thinking our lettering is either going to be, I think it's gonna be black. Because I don't have any gold or anything really impressive. I, or at least I'm pretty sure I don't right now. I mean, that would be awesome to put it in like a metallic of some kind, but I just think it would be phenomenal. 
but the black itself will balance out Harry's robe because part of our our painting is going to be Harry's robe and Harry's owl and stuff like that. So now here we go. And I think I'm just going to wipe your finger and just dot 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 dot. I'm going to kind of give it a magic here. And I know it's not terribly magical just yet. But we're going to have fun with that. Okay. Okay. That's my background. So let's get our round that I just used. I'm going to rinse it off and then wipe it off. I keep a wash rag. You know, when your wash rags get old and nasty, and you're like, okay, okay, it's time to grab new ones. That's when, those are the ones I use for my art. They're older, they've, you know, they've, they've probably seen too much. So you can actually use these to wipe anything off, or smear, or, because look, they, they've got holes, they're beaten up, but they're also used to just make your art better. So, anyway, let's, let's draw in Harry. Okay, now what colors we're going to use? I forgot my, my burnt umber. Yeah, my burnt umber is gone, so I'm going to get some of my burnt umber. I have a big old honking tube of burnt umber from Galleria. Now, I'm not terribly in love with it. And, but I'm going to use that. I'm going to use, I also have some raw, uh, burnt sienna. I think we're going to use burnt sienna this time for the drawings. I would like you to be able to see it, so first thing we're going to do, let me see my drawing here. We're going to go on the side. We're going to start here. We're going to come around. We're going to make a it's kind of like an egg shape and come back up. Is that? Yeah, I think I want to make it much bigger at the top here. So what I do is wet my brush here and I just extend it out. Extend it out, extend it out. There we go. There we go. There's my top here. Okay. I'm going to add some white to that burnt sienna. Watch this. I'm going to just come around and we're going to fill it in a little bit there. Guess what? We're going to keep adding white. We're going to come down and add more white. And a little more. Just keep going. As we come around, it should mix in. It's okay. There we go. Let's put a little more weight in there. There's our... There's our little base here. Now we're going to let that dry before we put in anything like the star or the glasses. The reason we're going to let that dry, now I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to go over with white on most of my drawing here of, that I've done in Burnt Sienna because we don't want it really a line. We just want to know where to start and where to end. There we go. There we go. Okay. We have that, and I'm going to take a little burnt sienna, a little white, and mix it together. And I'm going to come back out here, right there, and I'm going to have about, there we go. That's going to be an ear. If it looks too, too elvish, it looks too much like Dobby's, don't worry, we'll use hair to cover it up. Yes, I know, I, I can't help myself. I like the Harry Potter puns. 
Now, again, we're going to use that same burnt uh, umber. Is it umber? Or, no, it's burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. And we're going to make a curve like this. Curve. And we're going to come around. Pretty easy. I might make it bigger. Curve. More like a crescent. And come around. It's going to be our scarf. Now look, we've got our crescent. So let's just color in our crescent. Here we go. There's one. Now I'm going to come down straight down right here. A little thicker. There we go. And color it in. Guess what? This is going to be a scarf. Yay! I like it. I think it's done. Or at least that part of it. Now I'm going to come straight down and straight down. I hope my knee's not in a shot. Okay. There we go. There's a stripe. There's a stripe. Good. We're almost done with that much. And we're going to do Harry's. Now, actually, I think we're just going to stick to the black and the blue. What do you think? For his, uh, his robe. I'm going to go with, I've got some Mars black. Beautiful Mars black. And I've got some phalo blue. Phalo is awesome. Now, anytime I use phalo with black, it's fabulous as is. Let me get that little. Oops. But, but, what we're going to do, anytime we really need a highlight, we're going to add a little white to that phalo blue, and we'll have a highlight. So, let's look. His body is pretty much just like this. Right? And then we've got a shoulder that comes out. Like that. That's the phalo. See that? Now we're going to add, I'll show you that. We'll pick it up. We're going to give it a little white. So you can see that this is a shoulder. Here's a shoulder. And I'm going to use a bigger brush. I'm going to use, geez Louise, I don't know if somebody accidentally used some of my brushes or I was just mean to them the last time I used them because this is the second crunchy brush I found in my stuff. Not pleased. So I've got a mix of blue and black, the phalo blue and the Mars black. Let's get it in there. I'm going to take just a hint right here to give you an idea, a little more blue to it, give you an idea that this is where his arm is. Look at Blue, black. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oop, try not to get your scarf. And we're going to come straight down. There we go. That's probably going to need a couple coats. Because my Mars black is really showing that yellow through. And the reason I like the yellow first is it really does make make things like skin tones glow underneath. So, I I don't use a lot of yellow in skin tones. I mean, I do. <laughs> I use the, um, but I use the cat. Because I love the cat red. I love the cat yellow. I think it's much brighter. It's much more impressive than using the uh, boring burnt umbers, burnt siennas, you know. It's, okay, now I've got my, uh, I've got my robe on. Okay, let's put some hair on that boy. Okay, we're going to come straight up. Okay. I know, you're like, what? He doesn't have a pinhead. Nope, he has a part. So we're going to use that as our guiding line here. Look, ta-da. And we're going to come over this way. There we go. And I'm going to kind of bring it out that way. He's a round headed boy. 
Okay, see, told you we could cover up that ear. And all we're going to do is let these brushes, let the brushes do most of the work. See, I don't worry about whether or not I'm covering up the whole thing, because that kind of gives you an interesting idea that his hair is kind of all over. There we go, and we can actually do a little more that. Okay. Now, for the fun stuff. Oh, we've got to put in his glasses. Now, his glasses are about where his eyebrows are. Okay? And his eyebrows are going to be right about where his ear, the top of his ear. I'm going to say a little bit higher than half. And how do we do eyebrows? We're going to go like this. I'm going to make a straight line and make I, something like that. There we go. I'm going to go. This, this is the smaller end, I think. And I'm just going to bring it out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're going to put the big circles. Now, I have several friends who are really crazy about circles and have issues and have to use things to draw them and see and you'll have to go through and but I'm going to tell you right now let me see um that's probably about the best we're going to get so I'm going to put this right about right about where his eyebrows are I'm going to use my Mars black here and I'm going to go around I wish me luck never done it this way okay not, not as great as one would hope, but it does work. Okay, I'm going to bring that over, like, nope, nope. got to bring it up to the eyebrow itself, and go around. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That worked. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, it actually kind of worked. Um, you would have to experiment, or you could draw it out. That would be smarter. And I'm going to put just a little U here. There we go. And I'm going to make little curves here. There we go. And there we go. Now, I think I can actually tighten up his chin a little. And the way I'm going to do that is put a black line. And then I'm going to smear it. Just a little. There we go. So it looks like his head is not resting completely on the, the scarf. Now we have our favorite part. Who's ready for it? I am. We're going to put it in the scarf. Scarf. It's a lightning bolt. Poor Harry. Now... Our boy who lived is almost done, but we have to put in the words. There are several options for this. Um, you can use a Sharpie, but it will fade. It, it does, it will. You can use, um, and I also found that if I use a spray varnish over it, it kind of goes all over the place. It, Sharpie does not stand up to anything with alcohol in it. So what I'm doing is I'm adding water to my Marsh Black to make it the consistency of India ink. Oh, I forgot. Well, actually, we got to do the boy who lived first, and then we'll we'll put in Hedgewick. Okay, I, I, I'm going to cross over in front of you. There we go. Now let's look the boy who lived. Okay. I like this. <laughs> Yay, I got a letter in, a word in. And I like it. So, okay, let's get some more black and go on to the next one. Boy, okay. Okay. 
fill up. Now we're going to kind of give it out like that because we're going to put Hedgewig over there. How exciting. see that but literally my brush which apparently was in the water too long just broke so <laughs> let me grab a different one I've got a shorter brush <laughs> that has a shorter bristles so we'll see if this works and let's see how they did the who okay Yeah, I'm not liking this brush at all. This is not carrying any paint. Okay. But, <laughs> as they say, carry on, carry on. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll chase this brush. <sighs> because before shooting, you laugh your bottom off. Everything has just exploded around here, so like my brushes fell on the floor, yada yada yada, and I'm like, uh, we're gonna we're gonna muster through the boy who lived. Hell There we go. Now you can go through and do your letter much better than I did mine. But I think it is time for me to walk behind you and get um, Hedgewig started. How fun is that going to be? We're going to take a little bit of our Thalo Blue, which I think I've still got a little on the palette, not much. So we're going to take that phthalo blue and we're going to make a teardrop. Yeah, I don't have enough. I don't think. Maybe. Maybe. Mix phthalo blue and white. And we're going to make a big teardrop like that. Okay. Then we're going to add our white into it. Because that. And we're going to make this a little bit fatter right here. Just right there. Why? Because that's the body. Now watch this. We're going to make that curve right here. See that curve? Wait, I'll show you. We'll color it in as we go. Here's a wing. Wing, 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 wing. And we just keep putting in more white now at this point. Here's, and we can actually bring that up a little more. Because this is the belly. A little more white. White for the belly. Now, kind of like what we did with there, we're gonna we're gonna come down and up. There we go. Just like a little heart shapey thing. And let me get my little bitty liner brush here, which I'm not thrilled with. I'm gonna show you right here. 